Hello guys, this is Saman from Aesthetic Progression and in this video I'm going to share the technique of calculating calories burned during the workout. Before going any forward, I just want to let you guys know that this technique technique works specifically for uh, calories burned during, during our cardio workouts and not necessarily for our weight training. The technique that we can use to find our calories burned during the weight training uh, I'm going to cover that in my next video, so you guys so please subscribe so that you guys can be up to date with the information I'm about to share with you guys. Now, in order to do this, we will need a couple of stuff, it's just some basic stuff. Uh, you would need a stopwatch, you would need to know how to measure your pulse rate, you would need a pen and a paper or something that you can record your data and you also need to know your current weight now the thing I do is I use my cell phone because my cell phone has start stop and stuff like timer and stuff like that and then uh, I also can record stuff on my cell phone which is much more convenient than jumping back and forth to write the information down on a piece of paper alright one of the most difficult part of this technique is to measure your pulse rate uh, if you do not know how to do it, you can Google it or you can uh, search it on YouTube. It's not that difficult, but uh, let me just go over the technique briefly. You can measure your pulse rate normally from either the radial artery or the carotid artery. The radial artery is found on the wrist. Um, you can find it on the thumb side well, uh, as your thumb is facing up and you will find it on the side of the thumb. And the other one is the carotid artery, which is found in the neck. But in this video, I'm going to cover a technique that you can use on your wrist. Now, once you have located your um, arteries, you would measure its beat rate by using your index and your middle finger. You would put it on top of the arteries, and you can feel the pulse beating. Uh, one thing I want to put it out there is not to use your thumb because it has its own pulse. Uh, you would read the pulse rate for a total of 15 seconds and you would do that every two minutes during your entire workout and as soon as you uh, find your current pulse rate you will write it down on a piece of a paper or on a cell phone or whatever. Once you guys have found uh, or noted your heart rate, it's time to put it into a formula. Before we do that, I forgot to mention we do have to take an average heart rate. So uh, all you need to do is if you have, for example, if you have um, taken your pulse twice, a measure your pulse twice, and both the time it came into, well, first time it came into 100, and the second time it came to 150, then all you would be doing is adding 100 and 150 which would make it um, 250 and you divide it by 2 which is going to make it 125 that's going to be average that's what you're going to put in the formula so if you are a male then this is the formula that you're going to use and if you're a female the formula is going to be covered on my next slide so for males all I'll be doing is multiplying 0 0.2017 times your age in years plus 0 0.09036 times weight in pounds 0 0.6309 times your average heart rate and you're subtracting it from 55.0969 multiplying everything that we did with the total number of uh, total, um, total time you worked out and dividing the whole number by 4.184 uh, and again, the weight in if you are one of the, uh, if you are uh, using uh, kilograms to measure your weight, then you, all you have to do is multiply it by 2.2, and you would get your current weight on pounds. Now, if you are a female, this formula is for you. The technique is similar to that of males, but just a little bit difference in numbers. Now. Here's the situation that I put in for example, I am calculating a heart rate for a 40 year old female, she weighs 150 pounds, she just exercised for 60 minutes and her average heart rate 
was 100 beats per minute. So, putting those information on the formula given below, it's uh, going to be 0 0.074 times or age, which is 40, subtracting it from 0 0.05741 times her, her body weight, plus 0 0.4472 times her uh, average heartbeat, that's 100, and subtracting everything from 20.4022. Multiplying whatever you got until this point um, with the average, I mean, sorry, the total number, uh, total amount of time you worked out in minutes and dividing again, uh, dividing again from 4.184 and it comes out to 268 calories. So it means that during her workout, she burned about 268 calories. Um, now, although this might not be 100% accurate, this gives you a pretty good idea of how much calories you burned and how much, how hard you should work out next time um, to hit your target of uh, total caloric, um, caloric expenditure and stuff. A very helpful tool, if you're, especially if you are counting your calories and want to balance it by working out and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully you guys found my video helpful. If it was, please hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe, share, whatever, or put it on your like, uh, our favorites or whatnot. Um, Alright, good night, take care.